is there a time more than now when people are looking for a way to cancel folks that say the wrong thing, cancel folks that try to question uh, what the narrative is. I mean, people are going to come at disruptors. They're going to come at you, and uh, they're going to come at you rightly and wrongly. If it's something that you need to correct, you need to correct it, but you have to keep moving. You cannot allow public discourse to control destiny. Often the criticism is coming from somebody up under you. I have never had a hater that was doing better than me. Yeah, isn't that the truth? Yeah, it's yeah. always somebody throwing rocks up at the tree. People who are more successful are never throwing rocks down. It's people who are down throwing rocks up. Yeah, I love the way you describe that. And you know, it, I guess it comes back to envy. I mean, I've heard you preach about that. I've heard you talk about that. Envy is a big thing. People are always trying to level things out. And if you're doing well, you know, they're trying to drag you down. A friend of mine says, you're killing me doesn't make you king. Yeah. And yet people think that if they bring you down, it takes them up. But that's not really true at all. We, we, every person, even the critic, needs to understand that we need to be loyal to where we are now and do some introspection. I think we're too busy. I think we're so busy with busyness that we can't do business. Yeah. And busyness and business are two different things. It's like being on a treadmill. And it says, you ran five miles. But when I get off, I'm in the same spot. Yeah. So we're, we're on the treadmill of life, and we're going as fast as we can, but we're not really getting anywhere. What are the metrics through which you measure success? And those metrics determine how fulfilled you feel as a person on the inside. Yeah. You're saying what I believe so strongly, and that is own it. Be who you are on purpose. If somebody got a problem with that, then fine. Have a problem with it. Yeah, you can't because there are 8 billion people on the planet. Everybody's not going to like you. <laughs> you. You have to be okay with that. You have to also understand that disruptive doesn't mean destructive. Right. I think a lot of times when, when I first started contemplating with writing the book, I was saying disruptive, but I was hearing destructive. And, and, and disruptive and destructive are two different things. You can't have construction without disruption. Yeah. And so if you're gonna construct a better you, a better life, a better marriage, a better relationship, a better friendship, a better business, a better career, a better job, then you have to be willing to destruct what you built in the past to construct what is in front of you. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.